Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between a relative frequency distribution and a relative frequency marginal distribution. And the first thing you should notice is that this looks very similar to the first video on making tables. And this thing right here is sometimes called a two-way distribution. It's also known as a relative frequency distribution. And it's relative because it's telling you based on a particular amount, like the A's is relative and males are relative, and frequency is just how many, so there's our totals, and distribution is how much of each total. So this is really saying, uh, relative to the uh, category heading, how many of each total do you have? That's what relative frequency distribution means. Okay, so like I said, this is sometimes called a two-way table, or a two-way distribution, and the reason it's called a two-way distribution is because we're totaling two ways, left and right, as well as up and down. Okay, so um, just make sure you know what this is. It's really easy to make, but make sure you know the vocab, because when it comes to time for uh, an SAT, I don't want the vocab to get on you, because if you know what these are, then this is a really easy thing to do. So make sure you uh, take a minute and make sure you understand the vocab. So relative frequency distribution. Now we're going to compare that with a relative frequency marginal distribution. And the only thing different is this word marginal. And the word marginal um, means a, a little bit at a time. And what it's talking about is how much does each one of these change. And the way we do this is we look at the total, at the grand total, which in this case is 10. So we're going to look at the grand total. And we're going to just divide each one of these by the grand total. So the first one we're going to have 1 over 10 because it's going to be 1 over the grand total and we're going to do that all the way across so we got 1 over 10 2 over 10 which is also known as 1 fifth 1 over 10 0 over 10 and we're going to do it for the same line ground so 2 over 10 1 over 10 0 over 10 1 over 10 1 over 10 and we can do it in the totals too 5 over 10 and 5 over 10 and down here as well so we have 3 over 10, 2 over 10, 2 over 10, 2 over 10, and 1 over 10. And the grand total should always be 2 over 10, which is going to be equal to 1. And that's how you know you did the uh, grand total right. Okay. Now for the rest of these, we're going to change these into decimals. Now some things like this are easy. This is 0.1. But if you're not sure, you just divide. So... Um, let me get the calculator out here real quick. This is going to be not as quick as I had wanted it to be. I should have had the calculator out already. Well, anyways, I'm going to just show you what to do. In the calculator, you're going to do um, 1 divided by 10, and it's going to tell you that it's the decimal 0.1. So we're going to point point 0.1 here. And we're going to do that all the way across. This one's 0.1. If you divide 2 by 10, you're going to get with the calculator 0.2. This is 0.1. And that 0 over anything is 0. And 5 over 10 is 0.5. And they should add up. 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.1. 2, 3, 4, 5 is 0.5. And same thing over here. So we get 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0, 0.1. 0.1 and again a 0.5 and down here these should add up so 3 over 10 is the decimal equivalent of 0.3 but 0.1 plus 0.2 is 0.3 so they still add up and that will be true all across so 2 tenths is 0.2 as well as 0.1 plus 0.1 is 0.2 here you get 0.2 plus 0 is 0.2 which is equivalent of 2 tenths 0.1 plus 0.1 is 0.2 which is equivalent of 2 tenths and 0 plus 0.1 is simply 0.1, which is the equi equivalent of 1 tenth. And here they should add up to 1, so 0.5 and 0.5, a half plus a half is 1. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 tenths is the equivalent of 1. Okay, so both of these add up. So you're doing exactly the same thing you did up here before, but you put every single number in the whole thing over uh, the grand total and then get a decimal. Okay? Not very hard to do, but it's important that you do it because this sometimes does appear on the SAT. So this is called a relative frequency marginal distribution. So when you see that word marginal, what they're asking you to do is to change it to a decimal. Okay, And then we can ask you questions like um, what portion of uh, females had bees? And it's going to be, well, one-tenth of the females had bees. So one out of ten people. Uh, out of a total. What portion of uh, males are there in the class? Well, 5 out of 10 or 0.5. What, uh, 
what a uh, portion of females had D's, there is one tenth or 0.1. Okay, so how many A's are in the class? Well, three tenths or 0.3. So it's really important that we you know how to do this because they're going to take a table like this and ask you questions based upon it. All right, if you have questions, make sure you ask.